Time now for Sid Six Zero. This is where I get 60 seconds to say basically anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. In recent weeks, I've heard one of the craziest opinions ever. It goes like this. I'm getting tired of watching Canadian National Hockey League teams play each other all the time. What? Have you lost it? Are you really craving for those Carolina versus the Leafs evenings? And who could possibly forget the energy that courses through the veins of Canadian hockey fans when Canucks Ducks shows up on the NHL schedule? What a bunch of malarkey. The All-Canadian division, because of border restrictions, has been awesome. And the TV ratings on Sportsnet bear that out. Which is why this past Saturday on Hockey Night in Canada, I was elated to hear Sportsnet's Chris Johnson report that multiple Canadian NHL teams are lobbying to continue the All-Canadian division in the next season. Now, the NHL would eventually like to go back to normal with its division alignment, I understand. But I believe another season of seven Canadian teams playing each other constantly with fans in the stands is a new normal we can all get used to. Alex Sixero is one of the most familiar voices in the city of Toronto, 680 News, Sportsnet 590 The Fan. He was also a very tough get. We are related. Alex Sixero, welcome to Breakfast Television. North Division, Al, are you sick of it or are you... Of, of, a, of a sane opinion. No, I'm not sick of it, but surprisingly, I miss the Leafs, which, of course, living close to Toronto is, is the team I watch most. You know, I miss seeing Toronto Boston games. I oddly miss seeing Toronto Rangers, Toronto Washington. So I'm kind of in the middle where I want these games against Canadian teams to continue, but I want to see Sidney Crosby a little bit. I want to see Brad Marchand a little bit. Um, so I'm kind of hoping the NHL next year, because it looks like you know, unless the, the border restrictions stay, um, then we will see more uh, Canadian division. But the NHL is pretty clear they want to go away from that and back to the, to the old divisions. I kind of hope there's a way they can meet in the middle a little bit because I don't know how the Leafs stack up against the Bruins or the, the Penguins or the Capitals. And I feel a little bit weird about that. The other problem with the Canadian division next year is we have that new Seattle franchise coming in next year. And you got 32 teams and you got four divisions. So you have a Canadian division with seven teams and you got to put like Buffalo or Seattle. I'm just not sure how that would work. Um, but I, I think I'm with you. You know, I, the, the rivalries between the Canadian teams, it hasn't really got to a level this year that I thought it would. And I think a reason is what you said is the fans. I think you get 18, 20,000 fans in the building watching Connor McDavid nine times a year. Yep, That's one thing. This is different, but I'm kind of with you. Uh, less than a minute, Al. The Leafs, we know how the Leafs stack up against anyone lately, and it's not good. They've lost five of their last six. They're off till Friday, so you know what the city of Toronto is going to be like sports radio-wise. It's going to be unforgiving for the Leafs. What's gone wrong here, and how do they come out of this come Friday against Calgary? There's been a lot that's gone wrong. Um, they missed their backup goaltender, which is never a good sign, but Jack Campbell's been gone for a while. We don't really know what he's dealing with. We don't know when he's coming back. Uh, he's a very important piece to this team. So, you know, the less Freddie Anderson has to play, and he had to play last night because Michael Hutchinson gave up two quick goals, and, you know, Freddie played Saturday. He was in there early last night. I think having Jack Campbell back, Wayne Simmons back would help. But I think during this little bit, this, this slide, they're just kind of falling into some of those same bad habits we've seen over the last number of years, specifically in that playoff series against the Columbus Blue Jackets last year. So I think the nice thing with the Leafs is they, you know, their lead in the North has shrunk over the last little bit. But if Campbell comes back and Simmons comes back and they make a trade, I'm feeling very optimistic this morning, Sid. I don't know if you can tell. I still think the I'm Leafs stunned. are going to be they've lost okay. they've lost five of six optimism is not what i expected from you but you are the more, more optimistic of the two of us and you did compliment my jacket before the segment love you thank you very much alex you look fantastic this morning alex sixero so thank you breaking news I, I knew that 680 news and sportsnet 590 the fan after the break you sound off are you feeling confident in ontario's vaccine rollout 1-866-267-3797 email feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca and tweet us 24 7 at breakfast tv you sounding off next you're watching breakfast television at 6:44. good morning